welcome to my channel where I'll be talking about various topics like teaching and lifestyle. So please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. So today's video is going to be about my remote teaching routine during quarantine. I'm basically going to be sharing with you some ideas and what I do to keep my preschoolers engaged and connected. So I start off my day with drinking coffee, of course. I only drink mocha pot coffee. It's like my favorite. It's something I grew up with and it just sets a lovely traditional vibe in my mornings. Let me know in the comments below if you guys use mocha pot for your coffee. So then I love to start my day off by writing down everything I need to do for the day. I actually never took to-do lists seriously before until recently actually. It just leaves you with less stress to hold in your head, if you know what I mean. And it just brings structure to my day. And basically at the end of the day, you feel like it's just a great sense of accomplishment. Now you can use a, a pen and paper or a pencil paper like me, or you can just download this application called Todoist. It's actually an amazing application. I've been using it for a while, but I just don't know why I just love my pencil and paper. <laughs> But yeah, I'll link the application down below just for you guys to check it out. Okay, so after I plan my day, I start my online class, which I also had to prepare for, prepare for um, in advance. So I basically sing with the kids, I play games, and we kind of share um, like interesting things of their day. Uh, we play a scavenger hunt, uh, so I ask them to kind of run and go show me something blue go bring two items in your household and we count together so we have to do like um we have to come up with like creative ideas um on how to run this online learning so today i had a class um with my kids and um we were practicing letter a writing and we were sounding out our letter A as well. So I have a little clip I'll show you there now. Um, it's just me talking to the kids and sounding out the song. <laughs> it was so much fun, by the way. So basically after the class has ended, I sit down and I kind of reflect um, on how the class went, if there's any improvements that I need to change for my next classes and just basically write down like, you know, how the sound system was, should I improve like my image quality, should I stand or sit in front of a window, just improve the lighting and um, things like that. So I just write everything down. So basically I will just be better, hopefully in my next class. So after I finish my reflection, I basically sit down and I pre-record my circle time videos for my students. So my circle time video is like in a little corner at the back of my house down there. Um, it's like, you know, some little decoration and a little blackboard down there. And I just kind of corner myself and sing. I teach them manners. Um, we sing the days of the week, we sing the months of the year, things like that. And um, yeah, it's just fun. It's something to start your day off with. It promotes oral communication and learning new concepts and skills. So it's great for the kids to be able to connect with me through video because we really miss that opportunity um, we had um, during class where we get to give hugs and we get to connect together um, you know, sitting there and um, actually physically being there is so different than online. So we have to try our best to keep that connection going. So after I finish pre-recording my circle time video, I basically sit down somewhere quiet and I record my reading, um, reading video. So read aloud is very important in developing stronger vocabulary and creating a lovely bond between me and the kids. Um, and the kids absolutely love this part of the day. They just love listening to my voice and basically reading a story. I usually don't show my face in my read alouds. I basically just have my book open and um, I kind of turn the pages around and it's just like a voiceover kind of thing uh, with music in the background. So I'll show you now just a short clip of my um, 
read aloud story, just an example to give you just an idea about it. So Miss Asia today will be reading a story called Caterpillar Looks for a Shoe by Story Weaver. Poor Caterpillar has lost her shoe and can't find one that fits. Now, after my read aloud, I basically sit down and I create activities like crafts and paintings and things like that to attempt with their parents. Now, I know it's very difficult right now to, you know, come up with amazing ideas with the whole quarantine now where we can't go to the shops and buy craft materials and stationery. So we have to be literally creative um, to come up with amazing ideas with household items. Um, that we can use, for example, for science experiments or gardening or cooking, things like that. So for this, Pinterest is my absolute best friend. So at the end of the day, um, it gets overwhelming, <laughs> especially in times like now. We have nowhere else to unwind, so I really suggest you guys walk outside and just go for a stroll in your um, local park or just in your neighborhood. I love going out for short walks down in my neighborhood and um, just to get some fresh air it puts me in a good mood and it helps me be creative from my work and also for YouTube. So what I also love to do is put on an amazing moisturizing face mask. It's like the best thing ever at the end of a long day with all that makeup on your face and you just wash it off and it feels amazing. And by the way, this is my kitty, Cindy. So at the end of the day, I basically sit down and relax and make myself a cup of tea. And I just sit down in front of my laptop, uploading all the work that needs to be uploaded and just brainstorming ideas and stuff like that for my next classes oh and by the way guys if you're just wondering why i have a moon cushion down there it's just a symbol of ramadan so if you are muslim you will be celebrating ramadan this month and um yeah so happy ramadan to you all i'm also getting ready i'm excited for it i have my cushions and my little banner up there and my lantern so yeah this is it guys this is how i basically teach remotely i would love to know how you guys are dealing with the situation i mean if you're in college or in school how are you dealing with online study and if you're a teacher like how are you doing your online teaching is it similar is it different um, so yeah, I'd love to, for you to comment down below and let me know. Okay guys, so please subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful. And thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in my next videos. Bye guys!